regular and irregular verbs. In this module, you will learn what regular and irregular verbs are and how they differ from each other. A verb is a word that describes in a sentence an action, a state of being or an occurrence. An action such as I read short stories. We walk every morning. And I eat sandwiches in breakfast. A state of being such as my name is Harry. I am 12 years old. And Elena has a big teddy bear. An occurrence such as the sunlight shone through the window. The rain pattered on the roof. And the snow glistened on the tree tops. Depending on how their past simple and past participle forms are made, verbs are classified into two groups, regular verbs and irregular verbs. With regular verbs, the past simple and the past participle forms always end in D or ED. Consider the verb pre. Both the past simple and past participle forms for free are freed, obtained by adding D at the end of the base verb pre. This makes free a regular verb. Consider another verb walk. Both the past simple and past participle forms for walk is walked, obtained by adding ed at the end of the base verb walk. So, walk is also a regular verb. Here are some more examples of regular verbs. Irregular verbs do not follow the pattern of regular verbs. Their past simple and past participle forms do not end in D or ED. The verb blow, for instance, is an irregular verb. Its past simple and past participle forms are blue and blown respectively and not blowed. Irregular verbs vary in three ways. Where all the three forms, that is base form, past simple and past participle forms are the same. Where only the past simple and past participle forms are the same and where all the three forms are different. Let's now check out the examples for each one by one. Where all the three forms are the same. The verb cut is one example. Its base form, past simple and past participle forms all are cut. Another example is the verb put. Its base form, past simple and past participle forms all are put. Where only the past simple and past participle forms are the same. For the verb fit, both the past simple and past participle forms are fitted. 
where all the three forms are different. An example is the verb fly. The past simple form for this is flew and the past participle form for this is flown. Another example is the verb eat. The past simple form for this is ate and the past participle form for this is eaten. Here is a list of some more irregular verbs where all the three forms are the same. Base form burst, past simple burst, past participle burst, base form hurt, past simple hurt, past participle hurt, base form quit, past simple quit, past participle quit, base form let, past simple let, past participle let, where the past simple and past participle forms are the same, base form leave, past simple left, past participle left, base form pay, past simple paid, past participle paid, base form say, past simple said, past participle said, base form catch, past simple caught, past participle caught, where all the three forms are different. Base form break, past simple broke, past participle broken, base form fall, past simple fell, past participle fallen, base form sing, past simple sang, past participle sung, base form throw, past simple threw, past participle thrown. In this module you have learned, a verb is a word that describes in a sentence an action, a state of being or an occurrence. Depending on how their past simple and past participle forms are made, verbs are classified into two groups, regular verbs and irregular verbs. With regular verbs, the past simple and the past participle forms always end in D or ED. With irregular verbs, the past simple and the past participle forms do not end in D or ED. Irregular verbs vary in three ways. Where all the three forms, that is base form, past simple and past participle forms are the same. Where only the past simple and past participle forms are the same and where all the three forms are different.